You are 
promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Way making God, way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You wipe the world You mend the broken heart You are the answer to it all Come on, call his name Jesus You wipe away your tears You mend the broken heart You are the answer to it all To it all Jesus, way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Working 
to be in the presence of God. I want you to slap your hands to Jesus. Slap your hands to Jesus. This is the fifth day of our fasting and prayer. Hallelujah. And God has been good. We started with be open to God. Be open to God. Then we came to Thanksgiving. Hallelujah. We came to Thanksgiving and we came to consecration hallelujah then we came to anointing and by the grace of God tonight we are dealing with commitment praise the Lord we are dealing with commitment just about a few minutes I just want you to lift up your voice and thank God just thank God thank God for a successful fasting thank God for the strength that God has given to you just lift up your voice and thank God. Thank God for the grace that he has poured over your life throughout this period of fasting, throughout this morning, the grace and the strength that God has given to you. Thank God. Just lift up your voice and thank God. Lift up your voice and honor God. Come on, lift up your voice. Just thank God our God. I thank you for the strength you've given unto me. I thank you for your grace that you have poured over my life throughout this morning. Up to now, I give you praise. I give you all the adoration. Thank the name of the Lord. Thank the name of the Lord. La la baba shaka da baba ya. Randa ba la baba o shapa la baba. Rako shada ba da baba. Thank his name, thank his name, thank his name, thank his name. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. La Baba Shanda Bada Baba. Rako Shedebede Basaya Dadaya. We thank you, God. 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 We thank you, Jesus. Be lifted, be lifted, be lifted. We thank you, Father, for the strength and the power you've given unto our lives throughout this period of five days fasting. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you for the strength that you've given to us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We give you praise. We give you all the adoration. In the name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Oh, amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Commitment. Commitment. We are praying on commitment. And I have explained it very simple. 
that commitment is giving your all to God. Praise the Lord. Giving your all to God. I have explained it that giving your all to God. But the actual explanation for commitment is a dedication to an organization, a job, a cause, or a belief, and the willingness to get involved. I love that ending. And the willingness to get involved. Praise the Lord. How many of us are willing to be committed to God tonight? You want to be committed to God. I've come to realize that anything you start, I did our best tattoo of Rabu Emuna. We do we need because say it will end well. Gradually you get there. Praise the Lord. Gradually you will get there. It is just like a child. When you give it to a child, he has to go through the crawling state and start walking and he'll fall down small and gradually he'll get to that point that he or she can walk alone. That is how commitment starts. Anything that you decide to take your time, you open your eyes that I am making sure that this one will work. It will work out. It will work out. The, the married men and the married women that celebrate 70 years in marriage, 45 years in marriage, 30 years in marriage, 25 years, 12 years in marriage, they have decided that we are working it out. It is not like they don't have issues. It is not like you, you will not do anything that I'll get bored or I'll get, I'll, I'll, I'll get pissed off. But they have decided that the two of them are working to the end and they work it out so that is why you see an old man with an old lady working together and they are laughing even at their old age that they don't really understand plenty things in life they decide to work together hallelujah they have decided to work together commitment is one of the hardest thing to do in this life especially when you are a Christian it is very hard to come to a point that I am killing myself for this particular cause. Very hard. Sometimes you get broken. That is the truth. Especially when you take it to our, our work, ministry. You will get broken at a point. Sometimes you don't feel like preaching the word of God. You don't feel like praying. You don't feel like working out with God. You are broken down. But when you decided that through everything that I go through, I will still be committed to the work that God has given me. You will get there. Praise the Lord. When you look at our fathers that started ministry, some of them started in classrooms. Some of them started in, in one corner. Some of them even started at their halls. But gradually, they focus on the work. They focus on the assignment God has given them. And they are getting there. Praise the Lord. I, I, I believe that we started from somewhere. And we are here. Commitment. Focus. We have given our all and all to God. As I'm telling you now, I'm talking to you now, there are so many people that are sleeping as at now. They are in their bed because the weather is what? It's too cold for them. So they are sleeping. But we are here. It is commitment to God. It is commitment to God. And I said that there are three ways you can be committed to God. I want to talk about just two, then we lift up prayer. Hallelujah. You should be accountable to someone. When you want to stay committed, you want to stay focused, you want to stay to the work that God has given you, you must be accountable to someone. So that is why anything you do, you need a bigger picture. You need somebody who has gone through that process of time before. And the person will tell you that, no, this one you are doing, you must do it this way, you must do it that way, you must do it that way. With time, you will get there. Any business you start that you want to end well, you must get someone that you are accountable to. Praise the Lord. Amen. So sometimes they, 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 they say that when you are married, it is not right for you to take advice from people that are not married. Because they don't have what? The experience. They don't have it. Hallelujah. But 
But when you get to somebody who has gone through marriage 12 years, 5 years, 16 years, 30 years, the person can tell you that this thing you are going through, it is part of it. Yes. If 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 daddy can they, daddy said that they, 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 the very first time they had issue in their marriage was they fought over a pep student. It, something that could have broken everything they have built. But they are still together. Hallelujah. They have they are staying committed to the cause. Staying committed. I don't know the work that God has given to you, but you must be accountable to every work that God has given to you. Hallelujah. You must be accountable. Commitment. You want to stay your all and all to, to rate. You are making sure that this time I should be here. I'm doing it. I am killing myself. The, the marriage is not working. There's no children. There's no money. But I am working it out. Commitment. You can ask our parents, eh? sometimes they don't feel like staying home. Uh, problems in the door soon. So sometimes they want to stay far away from each other. But commitment. They say that the, 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 the popular vow that we, we talk about is for better, for what, for worse. No matter what, you are staying so when you, when, you, when you bring it to the church, every assignment the Lord has given to you, you must make sure that you are committed to that assignment. And it is not easy. It is not an easy journey. But another thing that can help you to build commitment, another thing that can help you to stay, commit, to stay committed to the work that God has given you is looking at the bigger picture. Hallelujah. So that is why a footballer will start training. That is why a footballer will start training. Small, small. He is looking at the bigger picture. Amen. I, I believe so much, so much that some of us want to see ourselves doing, doing, I mean, doing ministry and doing it well. And we, we, are, we are holding microphones and we are singing and, 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 and souls are, are giving their lives to Jesus. And other people are falling down under the anointing. It is commitment. When you stay constantly with the spirit, when you stay constantly in prayer. Hallelujah. Are you ready to stay committed to God? want to stay committed. See, sometimes uh, commitment supersedes every other rule, even the family. Hello? Even the family. It is my prayer to know that God will find us faithful. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. I said, it is my prayer that God, at the end of the, the journey, God will find you faithful. It doesn't matter the circumstance you find yourself in. I, it is my prayer that you stay committed. It is my prayer that you stay focused. May you look at the bigger picture and find yourself being committed to the work that God has given to you. It is not easy. It is not easy. Sometimes, you, you, you break down. You break down. But let's stay focused. Just thank God. Thank God, God. I thank you. Even where I find myself now, I even thank you that I have stayed committed. That I'm in that process. I'm in that process. You want to tell God, God, take my life tonight. Take my life tonight. May I stay committed to the work that you have granted to me. May I stay committed to the assignment you have given to me. I want you to lift up your voice in prayer. Lift up your voice in prayer. That God help me to stay committed. God help me to stay focused. Every work you have given to me in your house, oh God, I pray in the name of Jesus that we shall fulfill that call. We shall fulfill that assignment that you have given to our lives in the name of Jesus we lift up prayer tonight that oh God help us to stay committed help us to stay faithful over every assignment over every assignment you have given to our lives in the name of Jesus lift up the voice in prayer that oh God every call every assignment every vision you have given to us we lift up prayer that we will stay committed we will lift up prayer that you will find us faithful in the name of Jesus lift up your voice in prayer lift up your voice in prayer
Ipala dada babo sana, rako sana bede, rako sana bede, rapanda bala babo sa. Lift up your voice in prayer, rako sana, rako sana, randa bala babo sana. Ipala dada babo sana, rapanda bala babo sana, rako sana de, rako sana de, rapanda bala, rapanda bala, rako sana, rako sana. Rako sana, may we stay committed, may we stay committed, may our works pass through fire and still remain as God, may our works pass through fire and may we be found faithful at the end of the course, at the end of the journey, may we be found faithful, lift up your voice in prayer that every assignment the Lord has given to you in his house, in his house, may you be found faithful. May you be found faithful. Lift up your voice in prayer. Rabada babosa, landa bana babosa, ipala dada babosa, rando kapa, rando palia, randa babosa, rando paliana, ipala dada dada, ipanda bana baba, rako sana, rako sana, landa palia, randa palia, randa palia, rako sana da, rako sana. Lift up your voice in prayer that God, every assignment, every assignment, every duty, every call I have in your house, may I stay committed, may I stay committed, may I stay committed, may I be found faithful in your vineyard that you have given to us. We lift up prayer that, oh God, let us stay committed, let us stay committed, may we found our ourselves being faithful to the work that you have given to our lives in the name of Jesus we lift up prayer tonight that oh God let our souls let our souls may our spirit be found committed may our spirit constantly have constantly have meeting with you in the name of Jesus let our spirit constantly love to dwell in your presence in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we lift up prayer we lift up prayer that oh God that oh God in your house in your tabernacle I lift up prayer that let there be that loyalty let there be that faithfulness in the name of Jesus over the call you have given to our lives over the mandate you have given to our lives in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we lift up prayer we lift up prayer that our lives shall be found faithful our souls shall be found faithful our hearts shall be found faithful let our works let our works be found faithful in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we lift up prayer we lift up prayer that set through our heart set through our heart anything that weigh us down anything that weigh us down anything that prevent our lives that we may not stay on course that we may not stay committed to the cause that you have given to us we lift up prayer that oh God you shall redeem our lives redeem our lives in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we lift up prayer that oh God that oh God anywhere our life anywhere our soul anywhere our heart is being given that oh God let our works let our works be found faithful be found faithful in the name of Jesus now I want us to lift up prayer you are telling God that God searched through my heart you are telling God that God searched through my heart Bibia and Mammy meant to me soon walk a brabu muyeno. God off from my life. You are telling God that God search through my heart, search within me anything that does not allow me to stay focused, anything that does not allow me to stay committed to the work you have given to my life, anything, oh God, that weighs me down. I lift up prayer that let that thing be taken away. Let that desire be taken away. The desire of the flesh.
flesh let it be taken away in the name of Jesus lift up your voice in prayer lift up your voice in prayer anything that weighs you down anything that block your life anything that prevents you from not staying on course we lift up prayer we lift up prayer that oh God let it be taken away let it be taken away in the name of Jesus set through our hearts set through our soul anything that weigh us down anything that prevents us from the cause you have given to our lives we lift up prayer that oh God let your blood let your blood cleanse our lives let your blood purify our lives in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we lift up prayer that oh God may you help us to stay committed may you help us to stay faithful may you help us not to deny the cause you have given to our lives not to deny the cause you have given to our lives not to deny the assignment you have given to our lives we lift up prayer tonight oh God that step in our shoes that search through our heart may, may we be found faithful help us oh God help us oh God help us oh God help us oh God in the name of Jesus help us oh God that every duty you have given to us in your tabernacle help us to fulfill that cause that at the end you shall say that good and faithful servant may our works pass through fire let our works through go through judgment and still may we be found faithful because of your strength you have given to our lives that we are Stay on course, no matter the weather, no matter the circumstance, we shall be found faithful. I want us to lift up prayer for the family. We are lifting up prayer for the family. We are telling God our God, as we have hold on to you, let that mandate that you have given to the family that may Christ be seen in our family. Say, Christians, believers. God help our lives. So that disciples of Jesus. And whatever we do in the family, we shall acknowledge God. Whatever we do in the family, we shall see God as the first image. We shall see God as the, our purity. Lift up your voice in prayer. Lift up your voice in prayer. Tell God, tell God, tell God, tell God that God let our family be found faithful. Let Christ be seen in the family. May Christ dwell. Let Christ dwell. Let Christ dwell. Let Christ dwell in the family. Let the Spirit of God dwell in the family. Let the Spirit of God reign in the family. Lift up your voice in prayer. Thank God that God dwell in all dimensions of the family. Dwell in all dimensions of the family. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That we shall be found faithful. That whenever somebody enters the family, the first person the person can acknowledge is God in the family. Come on, come on, lift up that prayer. Lift up that prayer. Commit the head of the family. Commit the head of the family into the hands of the Lord. That may God speak through him. That whatever decision they will take for the family, it shall benefit us. It shall be from the Lord. Commit the head of the family into the hands of the Lord. Commit our mothers into the hands of the Lord. That we shall stay committed. That we shall be submissive in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice in prayer. Lift up your voice in prayer. Let the hand of God, let the hand of God rest upon the family. Rest upon the family in the name of Jesus. Let the hand of God rest upon the family. 
I want us to lift up prayer again. We are praying again tonight. We are telling God that God, let your power dwell upon the church. How many of us believe that is a good prayer? Let your power dwell upon the church. May the church stay committed. No matter what happens, may the foundations of the church be committed into the hands of the Lord. Let the pillars of the church, let the pillars of the church be committed into the hands of the Lord. We are telling God that God, we commit our leaders before you. We commit our leaders before you. That no matter the situation, no matter the circumstance that has surrounded their lives, may they stay committed. May they stay faithful. Lift up that prayer. Lift up that prayer. Lift up that prayer. Come on, lift up that prayer that the leaders shall stay on course. The leaders shall stay on course in the name of Jesus. Let the leaders stay on course. In the name of Jesus, we lift up prayer for our head pastor that he will stand every circumstance. He will stand every trial. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, lift up your voice in prayer. Pray for the members that wherever they are, may the hand of the Lord rest upon their lives. Wherever they are, let the power of God dwell upon their lives. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let the power of God, let the power of God dwell in the church. May the church be found faithful. Let the leaders be found faithful. Let the members be found faithful. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, may we stay on course. May we stay on course. May we stay on course. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to commit yourself. Just commit yourself. Commit yourself into the hands of the Lord and talk to God tonight that God, any blessing, any blessing, I, th there are generational blessings that comes when you stay committed to the work of God. Let that blessing be released. Let that blessing be released. As we stay committed, as we stay focused to the work of God, as we stay committed, as we give our all to God, may God never forsake our lives. May God remember our labor and may God surprise our lives in the name of Jesus. Because of us, our generation is blessed. Because of us, our generation shall not go wasted. In the name of Jesus, we lift up that prayer that, oh God, because of our constant commitment, may our generation, may our children yet unborn be found faithful, be found faithful, be found faithful. May they be blessed. May our life be blessed. May our lives be blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of God. I want you to bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank God for answered prayer tonight. Thank God for answered prayer. La Baba Shanda Lift up a voice and thank the name of the Lord. Thank God for answered prayer. Rako Shanda Dadababaya. Leanda Dadababa Shanda Dadada. Thank God. Bless God. Bless God. Bless God tonight. Let's go tonight. La Baraco Shada Dada Landa Dada Babosha Kabala Babo Shanda Dada Thank God, thank God. Barababa Shanda Dada Daya Bala Labo Shanda Dada Bala Bakanda Lababo Shanda Dada. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Slap your hands to Jesus. God bless you so much for praying with us online. God bless you for coming. Hallelujah. I want you to pray over a seed. Pray over a seed. Lift up a seed and pray over that seed. It is another sign of commitment. Hallelujah. Anybody that will tell you that, oh, I am with you. Let's go. We are doing it together. And when it comes to money, a person can't pull enough. He's not committed. Is it a fair deal? He's not committed. Hallelujah. You can't say that you are, you, are, you are in the marriage and you are not giving anything out. You are not part of the deal. 
Amen. Pray over that offering. Pray over that seed. Those of you watching us online, you can give a free will offering. The numbers will be on your screen. Just give a free will offering and God will bless your life. Please, wherever you are, just stand at where you are. The basket is coming to you and you just put in your offering. The basket is coming to you then just put in your offering. God bless you so much for giving. God bless you so much for giving. Thank you so much. Tomorrow we are here. Tomorrow is Saturday. Hallelujah. I believe that not all of us, but most of us are free on Saturdays. Amen. So we can channel the energy there. You know, most of the times, the weekdays is some way, the up and downs and stuff. But tomorrow is Saturday. Tomorrow we are, we are, we are coming to pull. How many of you are ready to pull tomorrow? By fire, by force, we are taking over. Amen. Thank you so much for coming. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit bow with us now and forevermore. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days.